Really? What we find going on on social media nowadays? Especially when it comes to our religion? It's fold up. It's just anything and anybody say whatever they want to say. Do whatever they want to do. We have to understand that in a lot of our societies, they don't teach us to learn. They teach us to form opinions, but based off of something other than knowledge. And I don't want to go real far out with it. But the reality, the reality of the issue is this. When we talk about social media and what we see people doing, taking these for tower, turning them into memes and all the rest of that stuff or whatever they're called, pictures, putting them up and everybody running with them. Before you take information of your, from your religion, I don't care who that information is attributed to. You need to ask yourself, that person that I got this from, are they trustworthy? I don't mean is that my friend, or is he known for the brothers to be upon what we call istiqama, or is he thiqa? I don't mean all that. I mean, is that brother or that sister that we got this information from knowledgeable enough and trustworthy enough that they're not passing on information they just got from somewhere? First and foremost, do they know that Sheikh Falan, he actually made this statement? The Sheikh didn't make the statement in English. So do they even know, did the Sheikh really say this or is this just a bad translation? Is someone lying on the shaykh? Or is this just something that they saw and they say, oh, this is amazing, I'm going to share this. A person that does this, you can't trust them with your religion. I'm telling you, you can't. Because they're going to get caught up in the hype and they're going to catch you up in the hype and you're going to catch everybody else up in the hype and you're going to find out one day there wasn't nothing but hype. Even if the shaykh said it, he didn't mean it like that. Or the shaykh, and I've seen it with my own eyes, I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it on some of these other social media platforms. The Sheikh will say something and he'll say, there are some people, and you can go back and if you actually go back and look into the book, the Sheikh is saying that you have some people that say this, but this is a weak opinion. What they say is this, and they use this as a delete. And you found, you found on Facebook that the people are pushing off that the Sheikh said this. Yeah, the Sheikh said it. But when you go back to the book, the Sheikh was actually saying that he's not with that opinion. You understand? So now people are running around pushing these statements off. I'm not going to say lying on the Sheikh because the Sheikh, he did mention it. But you way off the Sheikh's point. Sometimes you'll go back and you'll look in these books and the Sheikh will never have mentioned what it was that they said. Oh, he must have just got the page wrong. Or he must have just got the section wrong. No, the Sheikh is saying something completely different than what you said. So one, is the person trustworthy that you got the, that you got the fatawa in English from? Do you think that they actually went back and checked to make sure that what they said, what the Sheikh was saying in their post was what the Sheikh meant? First, first and foremost. Second of all, was what the Sheikh said a fatwa or was it a hookah? This is important. This is really important. Because again, we need to understand the difference between a fatwa and a hukum. And I want to go way overboard with it. But what we see people doing, people need to fear Allah. And stop trying to push their agendas or push agendas that are being pushed on them by pushing these, we'll call them fatawa on the masses of the people. People give you this stuff because they know you're going to push it out and you're going to make this statement spread. This is why they're doing it. And we sit at the computer, okay, you want me to do it, I'll spread it. No, this isn't correct. Because we don't know 
did they understand it correctly? We never bothered to look to see do we understand it correctly. And we push it off on a bunch of people that we know that they don't know what we don't. They know even less than what we know. So we got to make sure that we, you know, we fair law a little bit in social media. Stop trying to make ourselves look like we're shiuch, or we know the shiuch, or we understand what the shiuch are talking about, or even that we're the first ones with information. Oh, yeah, you saw that? Yeah, I'm the one that really posted that. No, that's not the point. The point is the establishment of our religion in a way which is correct. The Sheikh's Kalam to begin with, and I know everybody doesn't like this, but the Sheikh's but the Sheikh Kalam to begin with isn't a Dalil. It needs Dalil behind it. So, for all those people that talk about we don't want to just accept Taqlid, According to your understanding of what taqlid is, that's exactly what it is you're doing. If that statement can be attributed to the sheikh, and if that was the sheikh's understanding. Other than that, it's just lies and misunderstandings.